You're listening to the Seen and Solved podcast brought to you by Hubbard Hall. This has been around for a while, but take us back a little bit of kind of where this really started picking up steam. I knew it had to do a lot of environmental issues. Yeah, yeah, zirconium has been around. Um, just really, I think it never really took took foot uh, until a lot of the new regulatory uh, constraints came. A lot of our customers, you know, as the constraints get tighter and tighter, you know, everybody's looking for options. It really put zirconium, I feel, put zirconium on the map. You know, it's environmentally friendlier than than the other, you know, options out there like iron phosphate um, and, and zinc phosphate. Uh, and the big reason for that is the is the phos acid in, in iron and, and zir, you know, zinc. Um, zirconium is, is free of that. Um, so that's a big challenge, a big hurdle that you can just jump right over by making that conversion over to, to zirconium. So playing around with it, it, it really does have some uh, performance advantages uh, over over its counterparts of iron and, and, and zinc phosphate as well. The Siemens Out podcast is brought to you by Hubbard Hall. Better results, less chemistry.